Hello everyone, Linda Israel here. And today I want to show you a very cute pop-up card that is a digital download from Calico Collage. It is Simply Autumn. I think that's right. I think that Simply Autumn is the correct name. I'll have a link in the description box below. And it is a five by seven card that once you put it together, it's pop-up. So on the inside, you have these things that pop up. So here's what we have. There's three in images or three pages that are JP, JPEG format that you'll download from Calco Collage. You print these on cardstock. So we print the card and the inside pop-up tabs, I guess you could call those. And then on the back side, you'll print the solid sheet. So that becomes your outside of your card. Then you have these fussy cut elements that you can use to decorate your card. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to trim these all out and do that really quickly. And then I'll be right back and show you how to assemble this. I've fussy cut out all of the pieces. So we've got our card base and I folded it in half and creased it. These are the little pop-up tabs. And what you're supposed to do is there's a mark in the middle, fold that. I call that a mountain fold. And then these little pieces are to be folded right on there. So another mountain fold here and here. I did go ahead and apply some distress inks on these pieces. I used walnut stain. Depends on what you have, use what you got. There's another little pop-up piece did the same thing. Here is a little tag pocket holder. So there's little tabs on here and I have folded those back. And what we'll do, or I will do, is I will glue those down onto this piece and then the tags can fit down inside. So let's go ahead and glue this together. I'm just using Aline's Tacky Glue. If you have a favorite glue, use that. You can use double-sided tape, whatever it is that you like to use. So I'm just going to put this piece right on top of the base and glue that in place. Since I am using a wet glue, I'll go ahead and just lay a block on there and that'll help hold it in place. And let's get the next piece ready to go. And then I'll glue this on top of the other pocket piece. So we got two pockets on here. You could separate these and use them in a different area or different way. But this is the way these go together. I'm going to set this aside and let it dry. I want to decorate this card just a little bit. I wanted to keep it somewhat simple so that you can see you can use just the kit, maybe one other element, and that is I've got a paper doily and a couple colors of Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. And I may not use the whole doily, but I want to go ahead and colorize it. So I'm just getting my spray box that I use when I have Tattered Angels, and I don't want it to go everywhere. So what I'm going to do is I use, let's see, Halloween orange and craft. So I'll spritz this a couple of times. You want to make sure you shake it to get that mica flowing around in the fluid and not settled on the bottle, a bottom. And I've got the craft doing the same thing. I'll use my heat tool to dry this and then I'll be right back. All right, so this element is dry. I want to go ahead and go around the edge with some distressing just to kind of define the edges a little bit. And I want to put this on the outside cover. So I'm just trying to decide where I want to put that. So I'm going to kind of look at the elements and see which is the best element to put on the outside cover. I think I like this concept here. So I'm going to go ahead and glue down that doily and then glue the other pieces on top. So what I'll do is take a little bit of this glue and just basically make little bitty dots on the back side of the doily. Because it has holes in it, that glue can seep through to the front. So I really don't want a lot of glue, just enough to hold it in place. You could take a paintbrush and work that glue just a little bit. There's other adhesives you can use like a Xyron if you want to run it through that. I just like using the white glue. It's simple for me. All right, so let's just glue this down right here. 
you don't want to rub it when you're putting down a doily because it's so fragile so I'm just placing it with my hand just quite simply my hands are dirty from another project I didn't get all the stains and inks off. While that's drying for just a moment, I'm going to put the word autumn up here in the corner. I think I want to put the squirrel and then this little leaf coming around it. So we'll glue down that squirrel and then I'll put the leaf down. All right, so now let's work on the inside. So for a pop-up card, you want to have an element that can pop out and you need a base for that to stick to. And that's why we have these little tabs. So the idea is you take these little pieces and glue them in place on your card. And you want to make sure that whatever you put on top of that isn't too tall for your card. So that's why this kit is sized perfectly. All the elements fit together so that when you do these little pop-up pieces, they won't stick out of your card. So what we're going to do is I'm going to line up the fold with the fold of the card and I'm going to put glue on these two tabs and place this down right here inside my card. In fact, since I'm going to do two of these, I'm just going to kind of play with the placement to see where I want them. And I'm going to base that off of this little piece to figure out, okay, where do I want to put that onto my card? And I think right about there will be good. So I don't have to come over too far so that it will fit inside my card. So I'm just going to put a little glue on these little tabs line this up with the fold and because I am using glue I'll just go ahead and place my acrylic block on just to hold it in place while I glue the other one down so we're going to repeat this add some glue to the tabs and then position this over the fold and then I'm going to move my block over just to hold that for a moment well, I know I want to use this little element as a pop-up piece and I have these pieces left so I know that my tags will fit in here so I'll put one of those tags in here one in there I kind of like this little card so I want to put it I think I'll put it in the front so you kind of see that layer this is rather plain so what if we were to put this little mushroom I don't know I may Re rethink this maybe I'll put the butterfly on here this time I think I like the butterfly so I'm going to glue the butterfly in place that way this can be setting up before I glue everything together what I like about this little element is Norella made it big enough that a gift card could fit in there so if you give this as a gift to somebody you could pop a little gift card in here maybe to their favorite coffee place since it's an autumn themed or maybe a favorite restaurant so i wanted y'all to be aware that this will fit a gift card all right i think this has been sitting long enough so what i'm going to do first of all is just want to make sure that my pop-up mechanism is working it's not glued wrong it's going to move so now we can place something on this front piece so I want to make sure that that's really clear I'm going to put glue on this piece here and then glue this down on top of it so I'll just position this I want to make sure that it will close see it's not sticking out here I want to make sure that this adheres so I'm going to lay my block on it and I've got these two little mushrooms so what if we were to put these kind of over this little tab so you have that 3d effect of mushrooms here I could do this maybe let's see if it looks better with just the one no I think I like the two together so I'm gonna position these where they're somewhat overlapping so let's put one down one side I want to make sure that they're above the fold okay that way your card mechanism will still work and we'll put this one on this side put this on there for just a moment and then let me put away my glue and then we'll just look at how this has come together so now when we move our card do you see how that pops up so here's our front and then here's the inside as it comes up and then here's the back 
I didn't put anything on the back. I kind of used all the elements on the front and the inside. So you have lots of writing space down here. You also have this whole back side that you can write. There are these little cards and tags inside here that you can write on. And again, these pockets are big enough that you could put a little gift card in them if you want. What do you think? Is that a pretty cute way to do a pop-up card? And once you get this kit, you'll figure out that it's really easy to make your own pop-up card. The idea is, is whatever element you put inside, you want it to be about an inch shorter, a little bit, you could be a little bit more, but not more than an inch, because as you can see, as it closes, it gives you right up to that edge. And if it was a little bit taller, it would stick out. That may be something you like. Now, this does not come with an envelope, but you can make your own or use a standard 5x7 greeting card envelope to give this away or pop it in a pocket of a junk journal. Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing this little tutorial on how to make a quick pop-up card using the Simply Autumn Kit by Calico Collage. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. Do check out the description box below for this kit, as well as the Tattered Angels that I use. And of course, look out for the other tutorials that I share using the Autumn Breeze, the Autumn Harvest, and the Simply Autumn to make some journals. I have several tutorials on using those kits as well. All right, everybody, do come back on Mondays at 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time as I go live and create junk journals. And then on Thursdays at 12.30 p.m. Central T Standard Time, I do a live premiere. It's a recorded video that premieres at 12.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. And you can join me in the chat and ask questions while we watch a recorded video. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Have a fabulous day. Bye.